Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is day four, working on the old Alice 645. So yesterday was super successful. We got the machine started. If you haven't seen the series we've got going on getting this old bad boy running and up and working again, definitely go check it out. We've been doing some mini series here on this farm where we're rescuing three total machines. This is number two. And so if you're enjoying this, consider subscribing. But we're gonna jump right in to getting this thing moving. The plan is we're gonna start it, see if there's anything we can do to figure out why it won't shut off. I wanna air the tires up. I'm gonna try and find some transmissions to check. I'm gonna find, uh, we're gonna check coolant. We're gonna see at hydraulic level, see if the bucket actually works. I don't know. We got a lot on the agenda today, so let's get right into it. Let's see what this tire has for pressure in it. See, we've got 12 psi 12 psi on that one and actually this thing has an adapter here to bring it down to a smaller size it's got that classic old school big tire size I wondered I don't actually have one of these adapters one of the other tires does not so <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited to see that because now I can use that on the other tire if I need Bruts don't look too bad they're not sagging too bad. The, the rears are the ones that are having the issues. So. All right, so we're gonna hook up the little compressor here to the van and to the tire. get this cleaned out. My brother is here. He's going to help me do that real quick. So. Oh yeah, perfect. Just make the mess like the coons did. screws in the bottom of this. Want to see it sit on that? Yeah, I'm glad I saw that. There's one, two, three, four, five, oof, six, Should I eat on seven. A yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at that. Look at right there. Now that would be a butt killer. Now we can kind of see a little better in here. There's actually a cab. Just hang on to it, found a bolt. Let's get like a little broom and sweep it out. There's the, that's the brake fluid reservoir cap. Cleaning up around it. I don't want any dirt falling down in there. Probably no chance that's loose, but yeah, I'm gonna go find a socket for that. This cap was just placed on there just to, I don't know, hide it.
pretty dry in there. A little bit of something, but I think we're just going to fill it up and have no breaks. Get a little brake fluid in there. Probably won't do anything, but well, it's bubbling. Must be filling the lines. We might be getting brakes. Starting to get a little more solid. Oh yeah, there's pressure building up. the wheel cylinders all leak but all right we're gonna go with that there we go all right well maybe we got brakes all right I don't want to get stabbed in the butt with all these screws so, it looks to me like this pan will come off with these two bolts. Well, it didn't loosen up, but it did break. Fine by me. Broke that one too. Now oh, those pans are just lift off. There we go. No more stab in the butt. There, I can sit in that. All right, battery hooked up. Everything's pretty much ready to go ahead and start this bad boy up. Let's see if a day sitting will change anything. Here we go.
I think that the transmission probably doesn't have enough fluid in it to be able to fully do what it needs to do to drive that or the parking brake is stuck on. One of the two, I'm not quite sure. That's why it would just roll a little bit forward, a little bit back. So right here is the parking brake. Why don't you jump up there and pull that. Just, just gently lift it up. He's gonna lift it up. We're gonna look at this mechanism here. Is it up? Yep. And now down? down. That's down all the way? Mm -hmm. That might not be disengaging enough because it's literally only moving like half an inch. So let me grab a pry bar and we'll try and maybe disengage that first. All right, let's pry down on this. Maybe. Go ahead and pull that parking brake. All right, now put it down. Go ahead and pull it. I don't think it's engaging much, but it might be. Go ahead and put it back down. I do not think that's the problem. All right, so I think the transmission's low on oil. It is leaking down there. I'm not quite sure where. I can't find a dipstick anywhere. All I know is there's this breather tube. So I've got three and a half quarts of mystery ATF. So we're just gonna put that in it and hope it's enough. All right, let's try it again.
it definitely needs more ATF and I gotta figure out how to drive it but yeah what do you think first time first time out of that barn in over 10 years There's a pretty good coolant leak, leaking right out of the head up there on top. You can still hear it. It was spitting pretty good. That whole top has been re-soldered at some point. I mean, you can see it down in there. So yeah, that's gonna be a fix very soon. I gotta get that figured out. My brother's trying to clean out, see if we got any mud daubers in the air horns, because I mean, come on, you gotta have air horns. Is there anything in them? Do that again, press that button again. Oh, it's leaking right along the, the seal here. All right, let's, let's take this seal off. All right, so I took the back of this off, check it out. There is. Somebody made a nest in there. Yeah, that would cause it not to work. I'm gonna get that cleaned out. It's very important that we have air horns.
what do you think? We got it running, we got it moving, and we got the hydraulics lifting. Haven't blown any hydraulic lines yet, but we haven't actually done any work with it. So, I guess, what did we find out today? We found out there's a coolant leak. The radiator definitely has a, a hole. It's been soldered at some point, but we're gonna try and get that fixed here soon. I don't think that the water temp gauge works at all. It shows nothing. The transmission leaks fluid. They did tell me that that was something that happened before, so I don't know how much it needs to go in there or whatever. It's got an Allison made by GMC. I can't find anything about it online. I'll have to keep looking. Either way though, I am so totally stoked. We got that bad boy totally turned around now. So next up, we're gonna get a few more things kind of figured out and it's gonna be pretty close to getting it back to the shop. But before we do that, we've got a couple little projects we're gonna do with it here at the property. So stick around for part five of the old Alice wheel loader. And I truly appreciate your support. If you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a comment. They help the channel. I really do appreciate your support. I read every single comment. And without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thanks for coming along on the journey with me on the second of three machines here at the old farm. So you guys have a great one. I'll catch you on the next one.